welcome to a brand new vlog. My name is Sophie, in case you're new here. Today is Saturday morning. Well, it's actually not morning at this point. It's like 12.30. Um, and we've just had like a really nice slow morning, me and Josh, and it's been really lovely. But I'm actually gonna meet my friend SG today and we're gonna just do a couple little things in Orlando. I think we're gonna go to a cute plant store, have a little coffee shop like work session. We actually had a really sweet little double date night with her and her husband last night and it was so fun. But it should be a really nice Saturday. I'm really looking forward to it. I think this vlog is gonna be sort of just like a weekend in my life again. I like filming weekends in my life because they're typically really relaxing and I'm just like doing more fun and interesting stuff than I do during the weekdays. But I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of makeup. Um, I've already prepped my skin with Rode. I've been loving Rode. I did like a proper Rode review a couple vlogs ago. So if you wanna know like more detailed thoughts, you can go watch that. But basically I'm loving it, I'm obsessed. I really need them to restock soon because like I'm pretty much out of the peptide glazing fluid. I'm like running dangerously low on this and I really, really like it. I use it every single morning and night. I also am obsessed with the lip balm. This is the watermelon one. I have watermelon and salted caramel and I put them on all day, every day. I already have it on. I don't know why I'm putting more on just cause I'm addicted, I guess. But my skin has really been loving it and my skin really hasn't looked this good in a really long time. Like it's, it's doing good things for my skin. I will say though, I'm having a bit of like a chin freak out i think it's a hormonal thing because i'm about to start my time of the month soon and it's kind of like red and rashy i don't know how good you can see it but it's kind of irritated and red so i'm trying not to like put too much makeup on it or anything um and just let it calm down on its own but i think that this glazing serum has been really calming for it yeah i'm just doing a little bit of my everyday makeup this is the kosas concealer i'm still loving it I've been using it for a really long time. This is shade two and it's just like nice and brightening under my eyes. And then I'll put shade three just a little bit around my nose because it's kind of red. And wherever I need it, a little bit on my chin. Kosas does have skincare infused into their makeup so I don't feel like bad like putting it on my skin whenever my skin's like a little bit irritated because I feel like it's not gonna cause any extra issues, which is really nice. This IT Cosmetics brush is so nice for really quickly blending out concealer, foundation, any cream products. I've had it for years and I just, it's probably the, the best brush that I've ever had. It's the Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. I just make sure everything is extra blended with my little sponge i just love kosas it just makes your skin look like skin and just perfects it a little bit it's just the perfect concealer honestly i love it so much for bronzer i have been loving this little fenty beauty contour stick i kind of just use it as basically a bronzer because i really like the shade of it i do like to do a little contour under the jawline just Look a little extra snatched, never hurt anybody. And this is in the shade Mocha, by the way. I feel like it's a really, really nice shade for my skin tone. For brows, I've just been doing this clear brow gel from NYX. It's like incredibly cheap. I think it's like three or four dollars or something at Target. And I really like it. I think it works just as good as like the really expensive brow gels, honestly. Can you see? It's so nice. It's actually called the Brow Glue by NYX. I actually need to get another one of these soon because it's starting to dry up. I don't think I want to put on mascara today. There's just something about it that just makes me feel a little bit like icky sometimes. I don't know how to explain that. I'm doing a tiny bit of eyeliner in my top lash line, but only like on the outer corner. And this is just a Sephora liner pencil in brown. I don't know how people do makeup without using q-tips like between a q-tip and a beauty blender they just like cover every sin <laughs> i think i'm just gonna not do mascara today potentially but i am going to do a little bit of blush this is not even a blush i've talked about this many times on my channel but it is the kosas lip oil in the shade fruit juice and it is like my favorite blush it's just such a good shade it looks really natural and it blends so nicely and it lasts all day pretty much i think that's all i'm gonna do for makeup today just like super clean 
natural, no makeup looking, but just like a little bit perfected and like clean girl vibes. I am in a really massive clothing rut. Like I feel like I hate all of my clothes right now. And I don't know if it's cause like our closet isn't like situated yet. And we need to like get like, we need to basically build out our whole closet. There's no build in sh built in shelves or anything yet. It's just like two like ugly wire racks. I have just not been enjoying getting dressed lately. And I just feel like I can't find any of my stuff. I have reached the point of summer where I am getting so excited for fall. And all I want to do is wear cozy sweaters and like be in that mood. And it's really difficult because you physically cannot wear a sweater outside in 93 degrees. Like it's miserable. So, and also you just like look dumb wearing a sweater in summertime in Florida. And it's extra sad because it stays hot here in Florida literally until like mid-October, maybe even November. You just never know. And so we have a long way to go and I need to like snap out of this like fall mentality, at least for like clothing wise. My hair on my lip. I don't think a day has gone by since I bought this that I haven't spritzed it on myself because it just, it just like instantly lifts my mood. It smells so good, it's so clean. It's like vacation in a bottle. It is just amazing and the bottle is so pretty. Look at it. This is the first fragrance I've ever tried from Erin before and I have just, I just am obsessed and I really wanna pick out a new one for fall. So I'm excited for that. I'll probably do that like middle of August. <laughs> If I can wait that long. Okay, I just got dressed in something a little bit more summer appropriate, weather appropriate. This Mickey and Minnie t-shirt I've had for years and years and it is just like super comfy and easy to throw on. I like that it has this little slit on the side. And then these shorts are from Universal Thread. They're super cute, they've got big pockets. I really like them. And then my Aloha's sandals and Vela sunglasses that I wear every single day of my life. Nothing new. We have the ironing board out because we have yet to hem the curtains. We've been saying we're gonna do it for like two weeks now. It's getting really old. So today we're like, we're doing the curtains today, like no matter what. And so I've got the ironing board and iron ready to go. We were just like both been procrastinating on it. But anyway, the curtains are just kind of like hanging. They're super, super long. And we have hemming tape so we can do it ourselves. You just like need to iron it on. So it's a little bit of a process, but um, yeah, we're gonna do that at some point later today when I get home. Also, you guys, this is a very makeshift, very temporary little setup for me getting ready here. We got this cute little credenza thing from Target. It's not gonna stay there probably. Um, but, and then this chair, is just like a really old chair that we had in our office from like a million years ago when we lived in Chattanooga. This mirror is a mirror that came in all of the bathrooms in the houses. We have like a million of these and they're so ugly. Um, but they're the only ones we have right now. So I've been using this little setup to get ready for a few days now and it, it works. It's better than nothing. I've never had like a little makeup station where I can like sit and do my makeup in like a cute little vanity. So I want to set that up like properly eventually. Definitely won't be here on this wall. It'll probably be like over here, maybe on that side potentially. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Also have a giant pile of clean laundry to put away and another one over there. And then you can see the curtains bunched up on the floor there, obviously, that we need to hem later today. Also, I don't know if I've talked to you about this mirror yet, but this mirror I just got at Home Goods a couple days ago, and it's also temporary because we know that we want a bigger, like even bigger mirror here, and we want it to be arched on the top. And I found one actually from Target that I really, really love, but it has been sold out for like a month. And it keeps saying that it's back in stock, but then the second that I go, to actually buy it, it's out of stock again, like two seconds later. So I don't know if we're ever gonna get that, but this is just a temporary mirror because we need one in our room. It's already um, broken, so we love that. Really great quality home goods. But Josh said that he thinks he can fix this. So that would be great. And then this is either gonna go in the Airbnb or in our guest room. So that's just a little bedroom update for you guys. Not much has changed. Unfortunately, I'm still searching for a rug. It's like, soul-sucking work to try to find a rug. Well, no, run admitted. I'm currently listening to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, so book number one. So I read the first book, gosh, probably like seven or eight years ago now, and I really, really loved it, but for some reason I just never continued and like finished the series. And I've seen some of the movies, I definitely haven't seen all of them, and I don't think I even remember anything about any of them really, apart from like, the vibes so I decided to start reading from book number one so this is my second time reading it but so much of it feels new because it was such a long time ago and like I have a terrible memory for retaining like books and movies and stuff so it's really fun to get back into it and since it's like almost August at this point I feel like by the time I finish all seven books and eight movies it's gonna be like 
peak Harry Potter season, like October probably, or even maybe November, depending on how fast I get through them. I don't want to like rush through them. I want to really enjoy them and like immerse myself in the experience, but I've been enjoying it so much. I only started listening to the first book yesterday and I'm definitely going to finish it today because it's actually really short. It's like an eight hour audiobook and I listened to it on 1.5 speed which just sounds normal because audiobooks are so slow and so I think it made it only like six hours to listen to so I'm getting through it and I'm excited. We're probably gonna I'm probably gonna finish it today and then we can watch Harry Potter tomorrow. So like a cozy Sunday and watch Harry Potter. I'm so excited because I'm just like really craving the fall vibes and Harry Potter is like the perfect way to do that. I feel like Harry Potter is fall, so it's making me very, very happy. Also, we just booked a little staycation. Me and my cousin Macy are going to do a cute little universal staycation. Well, it's a staycation for me. She's coming from Nashville, so for her it's just like a regular vacation. But anyway, we're going to stay at a universal resort, and we're going to go to Harry Potter World slash Universal Islands Adventure. And we're also gonna do the water park, Volcano Bay, which I have never done before. And I am so excited about this. It's not happening for like another three weeks, but I'm just getting really excited for it. And I am planning on vlogging it, of course. So I'm just excited for it. I haven't been to Universal in such a long time because our Universal annual passes ran out a while ago and then I renewed with Disney and I was like, I can't justify having both parks annual passes. Um, I mean, I could, but like I didn't. <laughs> and so anyway, I haven't been there in a long time. So I'm super, super excited to go. And it's gonna be even more fun now that I'm like in the Harry Potter state of mind. And I'm like gonna understand a lot more of what's in Harry Potter world and like notice more stuff So anyway, I'm just so excited for that But my camera says it's overheating even though I have the AC cranked up So I'm gonna go and I will see you guys whenever we get to where we're going There's something bad loose in this forest. This is Harry Potter and Hermione Granger by the way Okay, we're just leaving the coffee shop. It was called Easy Luck and it was cute. It was like a cute little worky vibe. Like a lot of people were there on their laptops on a Saturday. It's really loud, we're like on a highway. <laughs> Hang on. But that was a very productive little session. I'm very happy that we did that. Oh my gosh. It always feels like a weight has been lifted when I finish a little editing session. So anyway, that felt nice. And now we are heading to a plant store that I have been wanting to go to literally for like a year at least. It's called The Heavy um, and they just like have amazing plants. So I don't even know exactly what type of plants I'm looking for but I'm sure we're gonna find something good. And I think they also have cute like pots. The Ministry of Magic Potter? Look, said Harry, throwing okay. caution to the Harry winds. Potter's Professor, back on. I listen to Harry Potter all the way here. I have like less than an hour on the book right now and it's it's so good. I cannot wait to finish it and then watch the movie tomorrow. But anyway, let's go to the plant store. Um, I just pulled up to the parking spot. This is very promising, you guys. It's like a tropical wonderland. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. is absolutely crazy Insane. it's like overwhelming how many gorgeous plants there are and I didn't even realize they have a full back section that she just took me to because I was looking for something really specific we want to find some vines that will crawl up a trellis um, and I think I want to do jasmine just because it smells really good but I don't really know what's the best for Florida and like what is the most hardy in the heat and all that stuff so anyway she brought us back here and look like a tropical paradise it's making me so excited and inspired for our back patio area um our furniture is going to be delivered finally on monday which is like two days from now so i'm i'm freaking out i'm so ready for it and yeah this place is definitely giving me some inspo look at this enormous cactus it has some beautiful flowers on it this is these are tropical vines that we could grow up our trellis lots of banana palms and it's just so pretty back here and inside they have like millions of more plants and they have lots of planter pots and vases and stuff like that so i was looking for 
some more vases for our house. But I feel like I'm too overwhelmed to make a decision about what to buy today. So I might need to go home, do more research, and come back. Also, the lady told me that there was a bunch of other cute, or two other really cute plant stores. Plant stores. She didn't say they were cute. I just made that up. But she said that there were other plant stores that might have more vine options for us to buy. So I might check those out. They're probably closed by now because it's like 5 o'clock, but check those out soon. terribly bad at home goods I was mainly searching for a rug which I did not find sadly um, but I wanted to check this home goods because it's in it's not my normal home goods it's in Winter Park and I thought maybe they would have some better stuff which they definitely did it's like a way bigger selection hang on they did have quite a bigger selection and way more fall stuff here already which was exciting I did not find a rug unfortunately but I did find a couple other things just like smaller things that I'm excited about. So I'll show you what I got whenever we get home. But I'm gonna run to Trader Joe's right now. I'm not gonna do a big haul or anything. I just need to get like two or three things to make chicken noodle soup tonight. I know I just talked a big game about making chicken noodle soup like five seconds ago, but I went to Trader Joe's and then I remembered that there's a Shake Shack in the same parking lot as Trader Joe's. And I'm like really hungry right now because all I've had today was that avocado toast and I didn't even finish it. And I figured by the time I got home, it's like a 30 minute drive, and then making the soup, that's gonna take like at least 40, 45 minutes. I'm gonna be famished. So I decided instead to go to Shake Shack get one of these and also Josh was like totally fine with it I called him and I was like is it okay if we just like do dinner separate tonight because I'm hungry I need to eat right now and he's like no that's totally fine he was like excited to get this Sicilian pizza or something I don't really know what he was talking about but happy for him so we're just like really treating ourselves today it's a Saturday he's having his pizza I'm having my Shake Shack I do wish that we could like be together for dinner but I'm also really excited about my shake. I got a chocolate malted milkshake and I got, and I got a Shack burger. This is, why is this box so like, it won't open. This looks so good, but so messy. Like, it's kind of crazy. The patty's like not even in the bun. So anyway, just wanted to give you a little update that I'm having Shake Shack instead of making dinner and I'm very happy about it, to be fair. I'm going to enjoy this, and then I'm gonna go home, and then Josh and I are probably gonna watch a movie. Or I think we're gonna catch up on Only Murders in the Building because it's Saturday, and Saturday's the only day of the week that Love Island isn't on. And so, we need to catch up on Only Murders in the Building tonight. I just got home and thought I would just show you the tiniest little Trader Joe's haul ever. But I got some mini flower tortillas. These are so good. I got them for the first time last week or maybe the week before. And they're fabulous. And then I got a big old block of Parmesan cheese because we're running low. Some onions for chicken noodle soup. Mushrooms, carrots, celery. And this is like the most delicious cheddar cheese ever. The unexpected ch shredded cheddar. Delish. day now it is Sunday and Josh and I've had the nicest little Sunday morning we took it super easy and slow we watched church he made us breakfast and I just had a really long nice shower I even put Olaplex number three in my hair just to do a little mask because I haven't done it in quite a while actually um and so I'm feeling nice and fresh but I wanted to show you just the couple things that I got from home goods yesterday because I'm really excited about it also I did finish Harry Potter book number one yesterday the Sorcerer's Stone it was so good. I was listening to it in my AirPods when I was at Home Goods, 
and I literally got teary-eyed in Home Goods. <laughs> it's the part where Harry is in the hospital and Dumbledore's talking to him about his mother's love for him and how that protected him from the evil and all the stuff. And I was like, it's just so sweet and so precious. So I am so excited to watch the movie tonight. It's been a really long time since I've seen the move, the first movie. And I don't, I think I said earlier in this vlog, I don't think I've seen the other movies, but anyway, I've been talking about Harry Potter so much in this vlog. So you probably had enough. So let me show you what I got from Home Goods. The first thing is this really, really cute vase. It's very coastal grandmother and it looks really like expensive and it feels expensive like it's super super heavy um so i want to put maybe either some long like dried palm leaves in this or maybe just flowers i'm not sure yet um i want to figure out where it's gonna go i kind of want to buy another one because i was buying this thinking okay I'll, we'll use it in our house for now but once the airbnb is done maybe i'll put it in there as decor because we're going for like a sort of coastal grandmother vibe for the airbnb but last night when i brought it home i like put it in our kitchen in the little area just to see what it looked like and i was like wait a minute it looks so good in our kitchen so i might need to buy another one for when the airbnb is ready i only got two other things and they're both like fall halloween themed and how cute is this little bamboo set for kids i got it for my niece we're a big charlie brown family like we always watch charlie brown during the holidays and stuff so i just thought this was so cute and it's a bamboo set and it was only ten dollars and it comes with like all this stuff so i thought she would love that and she loves snoopy of course and then lastly i got this really really cute blanket that has little pom-poms on the end and I, at first I was like, no, no, no. It's way too early for me to be buying anything fall. Like I'm not gonna get any fall stuff yet. It's too soon. But then I saw this and I was like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be there for long. Like I think this is gonna sell out really fast um, because it's just so cute and it's like neutral. And this year I'm trying to go for a minimal chic fall decor i guess i don't want to be like in your face like bright orange pumpkins and stuff like i want it to be a little bit more subdued and like chic and like grown up so i thought that this blanket was just absolutely perfect the other side of it looks like this and you can see the pumpkins through the other side of it as well i just think it's so stinking cute it was 30 yeah it was 29.99 and i just had a feeling that this was gonna sell out before i was like ready to buy it so i was like you know let me just get it now um, and it was funny because when I checked out, the lady who checked me out was like, girl, I'm so glad you got your hands on this because this is not going to be here for long. And I was like, yeah, I had a feeling it's just too cute to pass up. So I got that. I've told myself that I'm not allowed to bring it out until at least middle of August, like maybe pumpkin spice day or something. Whenever Starbucks releases their pumpkin spice lattes, that's the day that I'm allowed to bring this out and put it on our couch because <laughs> that's obviously the day that it turns fall in my heart. It also comes in colored pumpkins like it comes with orange pumpkins or black and white so go check your home goods if you like it by the way it says the farmhouse rachel ashwell 100 cotton you can machine wash it and dry it also i feel like this is one of the nicer quality like more expensive feeling and looking things that i found from home goods in recent years so i'm very happy that i found this okay i think i'm going to wrap up the vlog here because i want to get this vlog up for you guys today and I also want like time to relax and chill and stuff and watch Harry Potter and do a little bit of house projects. I think I'm gonna organize my closet today as much as possible. Even though we, um, like I said earlier in the vlog, we don't have like build outs and stuff in our closet yet. So I just need to make the most of what we have currently. And Josh and I are actually doing the measurements today to like try to figure out what we can make work. So that's very exciting. But I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you guys and I'll see you in another one very, very soon. Bye.